What you gonna do, Grogu? How's it going everybody? Welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac and thank you for joining me on this TV reaction series tonight. We are finishing season one of the book of Boba Fett slash the Mandalorian season three or season 2.5, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we are finishing it tonight. Not going to lie guys, I am putting on like uh, a high energy mask right now because to be honest, I feel like shit. Uh, I've been pretty much just sitting down playing Pokemon Legends Arceus all day. Like at nine o'clock last night, I was just like, fuck, I got like six hours to go and I don't know if I can make it. I'm just really going to try to get into this as quickly as possible just because it is an hour along being the the finale and uh i just i really want to go to bed <laughs> Uh, basically last time we had Grogu and Luke Skywalker training together. Mando tried to see Grogu, but Ahsoka Tana was there and she kind of told him that he would mess up Grogu's training if, if Grogu saw him. And, uh, he ended up just leaving the chainmail and leaving. However, Luke did give Grogu that choice between, uh, Yoda's lightsaber and the gift from Mando. So, uh, I wonder if we're going to see that choice play out today or if that's going to be next season. I wonder if we're going to get any Boba Fett in the series finale of Boba Fett. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway guys I'm just like I said I just really want to jump right into this so if you like my reaction please make sure you hit that like button for the algorithm and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out which is usually every Monday Wednesday and Friday and I also do some bonus videos and stream hardly ever and uh, if you guys want to support the channel financially the Venmo and the patreon is down below and I guess without any further ado, let's just jump into the season one finale of the book of Boba Fett this one is season one episode seven chapter seven we're about to find out pretty soon. <laughs> Let's do it. We're at war. Even if we win, there might not be anything left of this city. Mendo! <laughs> Iron foot soldiers. Cop Vant is raising a garrison for us. Been holding off the spice trade single-handedly. Spice is killing our people. We must buy time until they arrive. Palace offers greater protection. The people who live here need our protection. We'll stay. Oh yeah, this dude, the blue guy. I found out that he's more of like a Clone Wars TV show. Maybe Rebels, I don't know. I haven't, I'm just now finishing season one of the Clone Wars. Do you convince the Marshal to remain neutral? <laughs> yes. Oh, good. I used to live among a Tusken Raider tribe. They no longer exist. We destroyed them ourselves. Does Fett know that? The way his mouth moves is kind of creepy. It's a really good design. He thinks they were killed by Nikto speedbikers. I didn't realize the Pike Syndicate was so ruthless. We have to protect our margins. I think I have an idea how to draw Boba Fett out. God damn, that is such a good design. Ha, ha, ha! In the name of honor, here we go. Is that the X-Wing? Is that our boys? What's an X-Wing doing here? It's bringing Grogu. <laughs> He's joining the fight. Hide that. Get rid of that. Hello, officer! <laughs> she thinks it's the officers. What? Look who it is! No fucking way. No fucking way did Grogu fly that by himself. X-Wing already? I know when Astromech flew the ship. I mean, yeah, but still. Oh, look at the little guy. <laughs> Adorable. The Mandalorian? I don't know. He's on a job in Mos Espa. Let me say hello to my old pal. Hello, bright eyes. Grogu? That's a terrible name. <laughs> Sorry about that, pal. What do you have here, huh? Something shiny. You must be stuck. <laughs> so, did Luke send him away then? Or is he done with training? Is he not going to be a Jedi? Like, what? <laughs> it's so gross and adorable. There you go. Ah, gross. Look at the little guy. <laughs> I am very easily satisfied. <laughs> she stands out. Like, her design, her hair is, like, so drastically different from anybody else's. They're too clean and, like, put together to be part of this environment, you know? In front of City Hall. <laughs> the other mods keeping an eye on the Workers' District and the Aqualish Quarter. Nobody is sneaking up on us. There is someone here to see you. Looking for a job, you're late. <laughs> I'm here to negotiate on behalf of the Pike Syndicate. I don't negotiate with gutless murderers. If that's not the quack to call in the stifling slimy, I paid Marshal Van the visit. Should have never left him without his armor. He's not dead. Let the spice move through Mos Espa. No, 
I will only negotiate with the head of the Pike Syndicate. You mean the one that massacred your Tuscan family? He just sold out his bosses. Trying to rile him up, maybe? The reinforcements aren't coming. Fight on our terms. I can take him. You'll have your moment. Negotiations are terminated. Going soft in your old age. We all do. Have the pikes arrived? Not yet, but something feels off. <laughs> the locals are attacking. I thought we had a treaty. So did I. <laughs> Oh, those are some dead lizard men. Why wouldn't they just like sneak up behind him and kill him? Like they just totally got rid of their element of surprise, you know? <laughs> Say that again! <laughs> that guy right in the... Damn! Oh shit. No! Not the Piggly Wigglies! Why them? <laughs> like, they've been in Star Wars for so long. Does the Pike Syndicate still operate out of Moss Eisley? It's difficult to say for certain. That... Moss Eisley? Yes, <laughs> now that I think of it, indeed they do. You get there in time. Worth a shot. <laughs> oh, has she got the noisy cricket? Noisy cricket. No, no. <laughs> Ping down. Same <laughs> oh, damn. Was that a real person that fell? I mean, that was a great fall. Get to the sanctuary. Something tells me they're going to get a, their own spin off show, too. I, I don't know why, but they just seem apart from the rest of all of this. I don't know if you guys feel the same way as me or not, but they feel tapped on, is all I'm trying to say. They're here. Any news on the others? Be a miracle if any survived. All three Gotras of Mosespa turned on us. I suppose you'll be heading out. I'm with you until we both fall. <laughs> this is the way. We have two choices. Wait until they get into position, launch a siege on their terms, or rush out there, catch them unaware, then we can escape to your ship at the palace. I can't abandon Mosespa. Okay then, we'll both die in the name of honor. You sure you wanna stay? This is the way. <laughs> yes it is, Mando. I may offer an alternative. I was educated on Coruscant. I specialized in civic negotiations. Oh, this guy's gonna get shot instantly. Fairly certain we would be granted passage off world. At worst, some symbolic groveling and an exchange of funds. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Very well. I will write out my statement and what I'm willing to pay. Go before I change my mind. Salutations! This tablet bearing the terms of surrender. Read it to me, tailhead. Oh, because of that. I. Boba Fett presents the following offer. <laughs> what did he say? Perhaps we should discuss the <laughs> following offer. Nothing. <laughs> you will leave this planet and your spice trade. Refuse these terms, the arid sands of Tatooine will flourish with fields fertilized with the bodies of your dead. <laughs> You deserve that, man. <laughs> His words. Oh shit! As a distraction! Nice! Oh, that's so fucking badass! God damn! We need more flying Mandalorians, that's all I'm saying! That's a heavy blast right there. Oh! Opa and Mando back to back, man. Still definitely hurts, probably. <laughs> Just keep coming. <laughs> oh, Jesus! They super killed that one. Damn, they're getting pinned. Fennec? Oh, shit. Oh, it's Freetown people. Hell yeah. So they did kill that guy then. Damn. He was a big actor just to have him in a couple episodes. Oh, you got cover! Oh, did they pick up uh, Chrysanthemum? Did I see him? I'm sorry about the marshal. Gunned him down in cold blood. You didn't have to come here. Yes, we did. There's the other backup. Calvary's here. <laughs> Damn. That's the problem of having bright vehicles, easy targets. You all right? Got pretty hairy back there. That sounded like an angry ass Wookiee. Holy shit. Damn. 
Oh, he's got gash on his head. Oh, he is hurt though. Come on, come on. They're not just gonna introduce Chrysanthemum to kill him here. Save your rookie buddy, Boba. Welcome back, Santo. I owe you a nice long soak in the back to tank. Yeah, you do. Oh, they're sitting in droids. We got problems. Jesus. Got what is that thing? They're like those fucking rolling things from the, the prequel trilogy, but massive. It's like in uh, Pokemon Arceus. They're the alpha droids. You're gonna need to use that one, Boba. That's what the shields are for. Oh, Jesus! Can you walk inside of there? Oh, damn. Go inside the force field. Like, you can't... What do you... Why... You see the force field! Unless they are just trying to distract him right now, but I don't know why they want to just walk inside. Here we go. Oh, that's why you can't go inside, apparently. Our energy weapons can't get through and our kinetic weapons have too much velocity. Is it gonna be a little bit like Dune? You gotta go slow? We need reinforcements. From where? Oh, shit. Splitting them up, that's smart. It's not doing anything to that thing. Oh! So you gotta go slow to go through it. We found you! I got a surprise for you! <laughs> <laughs> so does she! Can this thing go any faster? That is a badass looking droid. I like that design a lot. If we fall back any further, we'll be cornered with no cover. Damn, and they got backup and those droids. Head up there in Snipe Town. Look who's here! <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, little guy. I'm happy to see you too. I didn't know when I'd see you again. I missed you too, buddy. I fucking love it. I love it so much. We're in a bit of a bind here right now. <laughs> yeah, not the time. Not the time, Grogu. <laughs> yeah, that's the shirt. I bet it's gonna save him this episode. <laughs> what? What did you do, Grogu? What did you do? Grogu, what the fuck, bro? Did they let the rain go out? Yes, the fuck they did. Here's that little boy. Boba's riding it. Of fucking course he is. Yes. Oh fuck yes. Oh hell yeah. Oh. Let me handle this. Oh, the red is, it's pushing all of its strength to the front. That's why it's blue. That's cool. Oh no. God, that would hurt landing on your fucking jetpack. What you gonna do, Grogu? Yeah, he's not down. Good job, Ranky. Do it. Fatality. <laughs> One more to go, though. Shit. They've made it to the roof. Pick off some of the fighters. I'll distract the droid. Seems like that would have blown up their uh, cover. I guess the shield doesn't work against falling buildings. It's like, oh, come on, come on. You're not going to lose the Rancor this early. Oh, I know it's not an eye, but it's still eye shit. You know I don't like eye shit. <laughs> Just tear that shit apart, man. <laughs> That'll do it. I am not a threat. <laughs> nice head tails. Get behind me, pretty face. <laughs> oh, please tell me that he's going to start working for her next season. That'd be so amazing. 
Yeah, run for your lives, man. Boba's pissed. Let's grab a snack. <laughs> He's like, you get this one, boss? There you go. You earned a snack, buddy. That's like the freshest sushi that Rancor's ever gonna have, isn't it? <laughs> Rancor didn't face him. So they're scared of fire. Really though? Like, it could have just pushed past that? I've known you a long time, Bobo. One thing I can't figure. Are those like, uh, Empire badges? One thing I can't figure. What's your angle? This is my city, my people. I will not abandon them. Like the Tuscans. Don't toy with me. Not a little boy any longer. You are an old man. I'm still faster than you. But I have armor. He wasn't lying, but neither was Boba. This is my city! Yeah, he has a flamethrower too! <laughs> Try to go straight, but you've got your father's blood pumping through your veins. <laughs> this isn't the first time I beat you out on a job. <laughs> There's no shame in it. My final lesson. Look out for yourself. Anything else is weakness. Boba's ready for death. Oh, no he's not! <laughs> and he's using the staff that the Tuscans helped him make. That's fucking strength. I knew you were a killer. <laughs> Like, I obviously did not like that guy, but I do know that he's from, like, the cartoons and shit, and he's a badass design and a cool-looking fucking character. Why do they have to kill him? He could have been a recurring character and, like, maybe join Boba later on. That's kind of fucking stupid. Unless maybe he's part machine and that didn't kill him. I'm hoping, because I'd like to see more of that guy. Stop shooting him! He's just a little hungry fella. What was that, a sand cruiser? You just throw a sand cruiser at him? What the blasters tell? King Kong ain't got shit on me! Here. Hang on to this. <laughs> Mando gets a ride now too, hell yeah! Oh, not long. <laughs> oh, shit. Your old man's crafty. Ooh, spoke too soon. <laughs> Why is it spicy? <laughs> Kroku's like, stop yelling in my ear. Where'd you go, kid? <laughs> it's not even a snack. That's just a little crumb to that thing. He can calm the beast's mind, right? Oh, he's working hard. It's a big beast for a little guy. <laughs> Did well, Grogu. What's he gonna get? Grogu a little bit. <laughs> Grogu's been doing some heavy trading since the last we saw him. <laughs> He's tuckered out. He's taking a nap with the wrinkle. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking adorable. He snuggled up. He snuggled up with the rancor. <laughs> This show knows exactly what I need to see. Syndicate forces have pulled back. Can't just cut and run. We had a deal. Half of my men were either shot or eaten by a rancor. <laughs> and there goes the other half. <laughs> oh shit, that's weird. I've never seen an alien get hung before. Fennec don't fuck around. And there's the respect that he's earned. Not out of fear, but out of love for his home. Take a nice soak in the back to tank. It's being used. <laughs> By Chris Hatton. Thank you. We are not suited for this. If not us, then who? Got some new armor, it looks like, maybe. <laughs> and there's my droid right there. Be in the bubble. Be in the bubble. Please, that's all I need to see at the end of this. <laughs> He's in the bubble. <laughs> I love it so much. He's got to sit up there alone. That kind of sucks. No. <laughs> How can I right. hear that? This is the last time. <laughs> he wants to go fast. Loaded for speed! Go! <laughs> <laughs> is there gonna be an after credit scene on this? I don't know. Let's see. There is. Alright. I didn't know they said Boba Boba Fett. Wait, so if Chrysanthemum wasn't in there, then who's in there? Is it one of the piglies? Oh, it's the mayor! <laughs> 
and the medical dude. He's about to get an upgrade, isn't he? <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm glad he didn't die, because like I was like, he's too big of a name just to kill off, you know, quickly at the end. Alright, everybody, that was the season one finale of the book of Boba Fett. That one was season one, episode seven, chapter seven, in the name of honor. And holy shit, what a season finale that was. Basically, you kind of had like all this shit raining down on Boba Fett and his allies, just like nothing is going to plan. They're outnumbered. Even like their their big guns, like Chrysanthemum, that he's being taken down. The Power Rangers are pinned. We thought that that uh, the sheriff, the mayor guy of Freetown, Timothy Oldman, I believe. Uh, I don't know his character name in the show. We find out that he actually did die. Well, the end credit scene show that he actually survived and he's just kind of chilling in the back to tank. Because I was going to say, like, uh, Chrysanthemum didn't have like wet fur or nothing. He was just kind of chilling with them all. So that confused me a little bit until that after credit scene. But then the people of Freetown come in to help and also the Power Rangers come in. But even then, that guy, the blue dude, um, the blue cowboy, I know he's part of the Clone Wars and stuff. I did not like the fact that they killed that guy. Because I know for a fact that he's kind of like a fan favorite. Just kind of like based on, you know, TikToks I've seen and the Twitterverse talking about him and stuff. Like, I know that people know and like him a lot. And it kind of feels it just fucking killed him off out of nowhere. Just, that was kind of fucking dumb in my, my opinion. I thought maybe he would have been in the back to tank for a second. Like, they were healing him out. But that was just like a really good villain that just kind of wasted out of nowhere. Like, he... He barely did anything. He had that one duel with Boba Fett that was badass. Like, he was, he had the upper hand on Boba, and he was literally going to kill him until Boba, you know, used his gloating to get a one-up on him and finish him off with that Tuscan staff. But again, like, I don't... That was very poetic that he killed him with the weapon of the Tuscans. But he still killed him. Like, that awesome design, that cool character. Like, there's so much mystery. Like, I wanted to know more about him, his past, what he can do. You know, he said that he was old, and I did see on some TikToks that he was a lighter blue color than he was in the comics or the cartoons. And they said, like, the older they get, the lighter they get. So I'm guessing he was an old character, so I, I, I'd i like to see what he was able to do when he was young. You know what I'm saying? And we're just not going to get anything now because he's dead, presumably. I mean, we thought the, the sheriff of Freetown was as well, but maybe he'll come back. Maybe the Pike Syndicate grabbed him up before they left. Although their leadership uh, in most Espo is kind of non-existent because, uh, you know, Fennec just <laughs> hung the mayor, uh, killed all those people that turned on Boba Fett because that's kind of what why Boba Fett was in such dire straits to begin with because all the people that promised him to be neutral in that situation while they did take on the, uh, the Pike Syndicate, he literally just turned on Boba and they sent their own men too. So not only was Boba and company fighting the Pike Syndicate, but they're also fighting like the mayors or the uh, the other daimyos or whatever they were their armies as well that fucking we knew that the rancor was gonna have to come back in at some point in the season and what an entrance it had again because you know they were pinned in that building uh, all hope was lost. Those two badass droids. I fucking love those droids. Like they're those uh, roller droids from Episode One, but like beefed up and on steroids. And uh, that Rancor just like came in with Boba riding on his back, just fucking him up. You know they did do a lot of damage and they went back and forth, but overall the Rancor had the speed and the power to take them both down. I guess let's just talk about the best thing that happened to Star Wars ever is fucking little Grogu. Uh, <laughs> he just straight up. I don't know if he. I don't know if Luke sent him or if he just like straight up uh, spaceship napped his X-Wing and came to Tatooine. Uh, but Grogu came to save the day and man, what a fucking badass Grogu has become. He's able to stop those droids. He's able to like calm the mind of a ram rampaging rancor. <laughs> and then he's just like, he's tuckered out. So he took a nap right next to the rancor. I fucking loved it. And of course, the bubble is there for a uh, little Grogu to sit in. I just, I don't, again, I, I honestly don't like that ship for this, for them. Just because, like, Grogu now has to be separated from him. There's nowhere for them to live and sleep. Like, I don't, I don't know. Mando just has to get another ship, I think. Unless they just make this work in the next season of The Mandalorian. But uh, right now, I just, I love this ship because it's a badass starfighter, but I just don't like it for Mando. It's not practical for him. Yeah, then, I mean, basically at the end, Boba Fett had the the respect, not out of fear, but out of, like, loyalty and out of thankfulness to Boba Fett for pushing back the Pike Syndicate, getting rid of all the uh, corrupt powers around there. These people have pretty much been subjugated their entire lives, and finally a, a person comes that literally just wants them to live a good happy life and that's boba and we saw that at the end with everyone giving him the salute and giving him uh presents and stuff basically boba just has his crew right there uh you got the power rangers chrysanthemum and uh and fennec did lose the pigs um 
that kind of sucked because they've been there since like episode three, right? They they're uh, with Jabba the Hutt, and they just kind of get thrown off the cliff. Which you know there has to be some casualties, and if anyone were to die, well, I guess I probably would have chosen the Power Rangers just because I don't know. I still don't think they fit. They're fine. They're just like extra soldiers for Boba. But uh, I like the Piggly Wigglies a lot more just because they they made it feel more Star Trek and they kind of connected it to the old. But who knows? I mean, they could just do a lot of cool stuff with the Power Rangers. And like I said, I can ca- they stand out so much. I can kind of see them getting their own show. Although I don't know how that would quite work. I think they're just going to be part of Boba Fett season two. Is there going to be a Boba Fett season two? I uh, I don't know if this is like a limited series or this is going to be a continual series, but I hope there's a book of Boba Fett season two because I really enjoyed this season. It gave us a lot more on a character we thought we knew, but we really knew nothing about. Like I said before, like we all make our own Boba Fett with the toys, but I always thought he was kind of like a bloodthirsty bounty hunter, but it turns out that, I mean, he kind of was, but he just got tired, you know, and he got sick of seeing power subjugate the people and he just, he thought that there, there could be a better way. And as we saw this season, there definitely was this is the way (laughs) so anyway guys what did you think about this season finale and the show overall let me know in the comment box down below and uh do you think grogu's actually going to meet the rancor again because i kind of think they became good friends (laughs) uh let me know in the comment box down below and if you like my reaction please hit that like button and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out which is usually every monday wednesday and friday they also do some bonus videos and stream hardly ever And if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Venmo and the Patreon is down below. And that's going to do it for me for the night because it is 4.10 of the a.m. and I am tired. And like I said, I wasn't really feeling good, but then I got into the show and I kind of got energized because it was such a fucking thrill ride throughout. And uh, of course, seeing Grogu definitely didn't hurt. (laughs) I'm like so easy to please. So thank you very much for watching. You know I appreciate every single one of you. And I will be back for The Mandalorian Season 3 whenever that comes out. I'm kind of guessing at the end of this year sometime, probably like November-ish. Uh, but of course, I'm going to be watching all the Marvel shows and all the cool stuff on Disney+. Plus. So if you like Star Wars, the MCU, I got a lot of that stuff in my back catalog. So definitely go and check that out. Uh, so like I said, thank you very much for watching. You know I appreciate every single one of you. And remember, if you're going to go outside, please wear a mask. Don't be an ass. And I will see you all next time for the next Star Wars show. Take it easy, guys. Look who we-